Hey there everyone, my name is Nathan and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota, but we assist customers from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services on their smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. One of the services that our customers most frequently ask us to perform is the removal of the Google Account Lock security feature on an Android device, also known as the FRP Lock. Here with us today, we happen to have a Samsung Galaxy Z Flip. So this is the one that flips into, just like the old school flip phones, and this is the first generation of that device. And this does indeed have the Google account lock enabled, because as we can see here, as we're going through the setup steps, we get to the screen that tells us that the device was reset, and to continue, we have to sign in with a Google account that was previously on the device. And that's basically what the Google lock consists of. Google added it back in about Android 5 or so as a security measure to help combat some of the theft and fraud that happens around the buying and selling of used mobile devices these days. So when you factory reset an Android device now, without first removing the Google account that's on it, it's then going to ask you to log into that same account again as a security measure after the reset is performed. So you won't be able to get in with just any Google account. It has to be the one that was previously on there. So we've been contacted by tons of customers asking us to assist them with this specific issue on this specific model, usually either because they themselves accidentally got locked out of their own device and couldn't remember or recover their login information, or because they were sold the device by a dishonest seller who didn't tell them that the lock was enabled and then obviously after the purchase the buyer didn't have the login information and the seller had long since disappeared. It's a very common scam that happens these days with the buying and selling of mobile devices unfortunately. So we're making this video to let any interested customers know that we do offer a service to be able to remove the specific lock from this device without having to have the previous login information. It's something that we do directly to the device while it is plugged into a computer. And actually, we had already done 99% of the steps of that process before making the video here, just so we could keep it as nice and short and sweet as possible. So after we should be doing the restart here, we should be able to see that we can get all the way through the setup process without seeing that lock screen. While it's booting up here, I should mention that this is something that we can do for just about anyone anywhere in the world. So you don't necessarily need to be located here in our local area in order for us to be able to do this for you. You would just need to have a decently powerful Windows computer along with a fast internet connection, and we can remotely connect right to your computer through the internet and perform the exact same procedure that we did right here. So now that the device has been restarted, we're going to go ahead and go right back through all of the setup steps again. We're going to give you the terms and conditions, and then we actually don't even need Wi-Fi, so we can just skip that. We're going to skip the whole activation process here because we don't need that either. And then we don't need to copy any apps and data. We're going to skip the Google services. Obviously, you can clearly see here that we're just going step by step through everything. So we're not trying to log into our own Google account or anything sneaky like that to try to trick everyone. This is something that we can legitimately do on this device. And there we go. We are all the way through the setup steps here. We're at the home screen and we have full access to all of the apps and settings and features. And this is just like a brand new device that never had the lock on it. While we're here, I'm going to go ahead and jump into the settings just to show you exactly what we are working with. So under about, we can indeed see that we have a Galaxy Z Flip. And then that model number there, the F700U, that's the model number of all of the U.S. versions of the Z Flip, no matter which carrier it originally came from. And I'm sure you saw the Sprint logo when the device was turning on, so that is where this specific one is from. So... If you have a Galaxy Z Flip and need help getting the Google account lock removed from it, we would love to help you out with that, so go ahead and get in touch with us. All of our contact information will be right down in the video description, and I'll also put a slide at the end of the video here that has all of the details there as well. While you're here, make sure to check out some of the other videos that we have on our channel, as we offer a lot of different services for a lot of different devices, and I'm sure you'll find some there that could come in handy. Make sure to hit that subscribe button while you're there also to be notified of all the new videos and services that we're constantly adding, just like this one. Y para todos los hispanohablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes nos pueden contactar sin duda. Thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great day.